ding dang da di ding ding. It's your boy Easy. Oh. It's E Kelly. Oh baby, pour me water. Holy water. Can this fire? Pour me water, some holy water, make it quench this fire. Everybody want me, make I no fall in love with you. But I no answer them, I tell them, say na you. Right now you come and then you play me for a fool. I'm out here wondering, waiting I do. Yeah, oh, baby. So we just got done running on the treadmill and now we're about to go do some more exercises. So we're going. I'm only human, of course, my feel bad at times. With all the shit people have to say, and even though those words ain't me, they try and drain my energy. I gotta stay focused in my mind Cause I know they wanna see me fat I won't so you can tell them all oh, oh. It took me a very long time I know they wanna see me fail For sure I know I will prevail yeah. Them can't stop a star from shining So I keep on winning Cause winning is all that matters my family, my friends, my enemies, go to well. I keep on winning, cause winning is all that matters. And my family, my friends, my enemies, go to well. You do good, them talk, but do bad, them talk, but. Uh -huh. That's why me not trust them, I trust the money when me have. Yeah, yo, Javi, can you imagine if you have the blade and them have the younger? Yeah. When me imagine, nothing at all me could do. Cause I know they wanna see me fat. I won't, so you can tell them man. Oh, oh, oh. It took me a very long time. But I'm just gonna sit here and talk to you guys. But before I eat, I'm going to say a prayer. So, okay. Well, y'all, let me tell you. I love Cool Whip. <laughs> It tastes so, so good. Oh my God. And I get the sugar free kind, y'all, and it still tastes sweet. It's bomb. Probably don't even need this syrup, really. But, um, so let me tell y'all about my day yesterday. I had such a long day yesterday. I don't even know where to begin. So as y'all know, I went to do a little shopping. I know it tastes bad. I went to do a little shopping um, for a friend of mine for her wedding and that really didn't go so well because I really didn't find anything good yesterday. 
I found a couple of things, but not a lot. Um. I'll show you guys what I got her. But I gotta get her something else. But the only problem is I have to go to school. I have class today and I have to go to work and I work all day today. And I'm not gonna have time to stop by the mall to get her something else. And the bridal shower is tomorrow. So I'm really like push for time here. I just wanna know what I'm gonna do. And then, then on top of that, I still haven't found a dress yet for the wedding. So I'm really feeling behind at this point. So behind. Don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go online and see can I find a dress, but I was hoping that I would be able to find one in the stores here, somewhere around here. Just so y'all won't have to wait on shipping. I'll wait for it to come in the mail, but I still have time. Not too much time, but I still have time to um order a dress online if I have to. So I'm definitely gonna be looking at some websites today. While I'm on lunch at work. But yesterday was just crazy. So I did that, I went shopping for that. Um, I had to have my Bible study yesterday. After that, I had to cook. And I really didn't get a chance to cook until later on, like around six o'clock yesterday evening because I didn't get home. So like after my Bible study, that ended around about, it was like after two o'clock, going on three o'clock. And so after that, I went to do some more shopping for the bride and I didn't find anything. So I didn't get home until about after five. That took the most time shopping. I cooked, in which I have a clip of the food I cooked yesterday. I also cooked some broccoli last night. I didn't show you guys, but I cooked some broccoli late last night. And then after I cooked, I had to go back on campus for modeling practice. And so I'm just like, at this point I was exhausted. <laughs> exhausted. So, so, so tired. And I had to go to practice. And I had to do a homework assignment that's due today. So, after practice, I went to the library. I did my homework assignment. And then I went home. But I was so tired. And this morning, you know, I have to get up. I get up every morning at four o'clock. Um, me and my trainer, we work out at five every morning. But we have to get up at four in the morning just so we can be ready by five. So tell me why. <laughs> I set my alarm. I set multiple alarms so that I can get up. So I set my alarm to make sure to wake up, wake myself up and text my trainer and be like, hey, are you up? Or whatever, just to wake him up. So I did that, that's our normal routine. I turned off all the alarms for some reason. And after I text him to wake, make sure he was up, I went back to sleep. <laughs> so I overslept this morning. I was rushing, trying to get ready. We're normally at the gym by five o'clock and I woke up at 4.58. Tell me why, tell me why. 
<laughs> I thought my alarm, I thought I set an alarm to get me up at 420. Cause normally I call my trainer around 415 and then I'll, either I'll get up or I'll lay down for a few more minutes until like 420 and then I'll get up. So tell me why I thought I set an alarm for 420. So in my head, I was thinking I set an alarm for 420, but I really set the alarm for 415 to wake my trainer up. And I didn't set an I didn't set um, the alarm back for 420 since I had turned off all the alarms, which is crazy. And I ended up going back to sleep. <laughs> but I guess my body needed that sleep because I was so tired yesterday. But we had a short workout today because I we both were late actually, but he. He was, um, he got there earlier. But he got there before I did, so I was more late than he was. Now I'm just like, oh my gosh. But this has been a very long week. Ever since school started back, has been long, and I think it's gonna be like that for the rest of the, for the rest of the semester because of the professor I have. Not all the professors, but I have one professor that she just, she do the most. She really did. She assigned work on top of work on top of work. And the work that we have this do is a lot. It's very, very like intense. And she adds more work on top of that. I just don't understand like why she do that. Like she knows we're college students. She knows we have other classes to study for. She's been through this stuff before. She's been a college student before. So I just don't understand why she wants to make us suffer. If I was a professor, I definitely would not put too much on my students. Knowing that they have other classes that they have to take and knowing that everybody's circumstances are different outside of school, you know? But yes, I'm just really tired yesterday. I know it with my professor and all this work we have to do. Trying to get everything right for my stuff for this wedding. So, it's been a struggle, y'all. <laughs> it's been a struggle. I didn't even get a chance to do another, uh, my intro video yesterday. I was so tired. But I will do that probably tonight. That's actually going to be the first video I post. So you guys probably won't see this one until after I post my introduction video. So yeah. So keep on a lookout for this one and for the intro. Y'all, this um, sugar-free salted caramel syrup is really good. I went to Marshall's yesterday, and I just happened to see this. I have the vanilla flavor, sugar-free vanilla flavor one that I had got from Walmart, but they don't sell this um, brand in this this big of a bottle like this. So I was very surprised when I saw this, and I was like, "Wow, this is a big bottle!" And then I saw it was sugar-free. And I was like, I need to try this. So, and it's not bad. The consistency of this of this particular syrup is watery. When I first bought the vanilla one, I was like, I hope this tastes good. Like it smelled good, but I was like, I hope it tastes good because it looked watered down. But it tastes amazing. It really does. It tastes really, really good. I love it. It's like a light taste and this stuff is dripping. 
I'm gonna clean it off. But it has like a light taste or whatever. So it's good. It's not as thick as regular syrup. And it's not sticky like regular syrup is. So I don't know what they put in it to make it like that, but it's really good and I recommend it. Both the vanilla and the caramel, salted caramel flavor is it's good. I would definitely buy both. So, for today, I have a site class, and then I'll be at work all day. So, that's pretty much what my day is going to consist of working. <laughs> that's all I do is work, y'all. Work in school, work in school. If I'm not at work, I'm at school. But that's a part of being an adult adult life right oh how i wish i could go back to being a kid again because this is not the business here <laughs> i never feel like adulting but i don't really have a choice <laughs> So during the weekends, I don't go to the gym because your body needs to rest at least two days. You don't have to work out every day. I know there's some people that work out every single, single day of the week, including the weekends. But me personally, I don't unless I skip the day during the week. That's when I'll go and do a workout on the weekend. Or if I really want to like work on some apps or something, something that I really didn't get a chance to hit during the week or to focus on during the week, I'll, I may do like an ab workout. It'll be something light, nothing intense, nothing ex extreme, but like a light ab workout or whatever. But your body needs to rest when you're, um, working out every day when you when you're um working out consistently you need at least two days for your body to rest these strawberries are kind of okay y'all be careful when y'all go to walmart and buy fruit because most of the time it's not sweet my favorite place to go to to buy fruit is Publix. They have really, really good fruit. Sometimes the fruit will be a little bitter, but for the most part, I've had great experiences with their fruit. It's so good. It's much fresher and sweeter. Walmart fruit, on the other hand, it's like a hit or miss. It's either you're going to get some sweet fruit or you're going to get some messed up bitter tasting fruit so and most of the time <laughs> knowing my look i end up with the bitter fruit so i think i've had like one batch of good sweet fruit from walmart the rest has been okay or not good so my favorite fruit personally is pineapples i love pineapples it's so good i love them sweet or sour they are so good to me but unfortunately because i'm on the keto diet i'm not allowed to have pineapples so i have to eat strawberries or raspberries or blueberries stuff like that 
on the mostly on the berries side of fruit but i love 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 pineapple y'all like it is so good <laughs> pineapples and watermelon is my favorite i love watermelon like i can eat a whole a whole thing of watermelon like it's so good so good y'all tell me in the comments below what is y'all's favorite fruit do y'all like watermelon strawberries pineapples grapes i know some people a lot of people like grapes i like grapes too but it's not my favorite fruit but i, I like grapes i can i can dig the grapes <laughs> i like the green grapes and also t in the comments below let me know what color grapes y'all like? Y'all like green or the, or the red ones or the black ones? They have different color grapes, y'all. They also have cotton candy grapes, and I haven't tried those yet. I heard they're good. I heard they taste like cotton candy, but I don't know how true that is. I would have to just see for myself. But people be lying. People be lying all the time, or they'll overrate something, hype something up so much, and then when you do try it, it's not even all that. So. But that's something that I plan on trying one day. Maybe when I have a cheat day. I'll try them. I'll get them from Publix. I don't think I don't think Walmart sells them. I don't think so. And if any of you have tried cotton candy grapes, Comment below and let me know if they taste good. If they really taste like cotton candy. I saw you guys. Um, this weekend, as I have mentioned before, I will be going to a bridal shower. It's going to be, um, closer to my hometown, so I won't be where I'm at right now. So I'm going to be going home pretty much <laughs> for the bridal shower, and I have to come right back up here on Sunday because I have to work. Um, so this weekend is going to be really busy, really, really busy. Um, I'm excited about this bridal shower though. I'm excited about everything, the wedding and, and everything. Even my birthday is going to be coming up in a few weeks. Um, the week of the wedding is my birthday. So I'm excited about that too. I'm actually going to make myself a cake. I've never baked a cake before. But I'm going to bake myself a keto cake. It's going to be keto friendly. But it's gonna be a blueberry cake. And I'm gonna add a little twist to it and make some strawberry icing to put on top of the cake. So I'm excited to see how that is gonna turn out. With, uh, with this being my first time making a cake and making icing, I'm excited. I will definitely show you guys how I made it and how it turned out. it for today I mean I'm not really doing anything major but work and school it's nothing exciting about that <laughs> um that's pretty much about it so I will catch you guys in my next video